All of me is Migos and Possible Migos. My name is Taffrey16. Welcome back to another episode of Reading Your Comments, episode 204. It is Sunday or maybe Saturday if you're watching this a day early on Patreon. For those of you on other Patreons, I have the option to watch these, as well as the reaction videos up to a day early, sometimes more, and you get your name in the video description as well. But regardless of what day you are watching this on, let's go ahead and read some comments. If you're a fan of Mark Heap, check out We're Doomed, the Dad's Army story made in 2015. He plays the actor Clive Dunn, who would go on to be cast as Lance Corporal Jones, who had to be aged up considerably for the role. Uh, it's well worth a watch. The late John Sessions is phenomenal as Captain Mainwaring. Uh, Paul Ritter also stars in it as well. Well, wow, okay. Uh, I feel like maybe I should see well, I feel, maybe I should see more of Dad's Army before I watch that, but I could eventually look into it. I want to see Dwayne Johnson versus Dwayne Dibley. That sounds like the most unfair fight of all time, but. I'm down to see it too. Would love to see some of your videos titled Random Cracker Reacts instead of American Reacts. Wonder if it would affect the views. There's an April 1st idea. Uh, seriously, thanks for all the vids throughout the year. Uh, best of luck 2023. Loving the long hair really suits you. Uh, wonder how long it'd be by the end of the year. Yeah, I mean, I've not cut it since... I think either the, I think it might have been the 31st of July. In Was there 31? Is there 31 days in July? I actually don't know. Let's see. Uh, yes, there is. I think it might have been the 31st of July in 2021, which is the last time I cut it. I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep it going, but I have no plans to cut it currently. Torchwood Children of Earth was the greatest of them, so I've heard. So I've heard, and that's partially my motivation, is I've heard it gets better, so just trying to get there. <laughs> I got called gay at school for about a week because of Gimme Gimme Gimme. I did not know I was saying Gimme Gimme Gimme, gimme a man after midnight because I just watched the show the night before and I was doing a test and saw him pop in my head and I learned a valuable lesson uh, that day that all kids are assholes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's why I didn't talk to many people in high school. Like I was, I, I was, I, I guess the quiet kid. I kind of just ignored people because like you said, kids are assholes. And you know, at that point I was just trying to get for my day. Do Americans use the word not for zero? No, I actually only put that together recently that when you guys were talking about naughties, that was, that's what you were meaning because I had heard that before and I was thinking to myself, what the fuck does that mean? But, but did you, so you use it for zero. That, that makes a lot of sense because no, nobody here uses that for zero. FYI, originally Cassandra's reaction to Damien and the bedroom scene in Only Fools was supposed to feature a theme from The Omen, but copyright meant that it had to be swapped out for a substitute track that again fails to make the scene funny. You know, that makes a lot of sense, because you could kind of, if you listen closely during the editing job, it kind of sounds a little bit weird. Like, it sounds like, like at the, when the song ends, it sounds like it fades in a weird way, so that makes a lot of sense. As you mentioned at the start, this Only Fools episode was shown in Christmas Day 1993. On that day, Mr. Blobby was number one in the UK singles chart. It was the best of days. It was the worst of days. <laughs> You've really outdone yourself this December? Thank you. I, I, tr I tried my best. I think this is definitely the best Christmas month we've had. And I was determined to get everything that I wanted to get done, done. And even if that meant packing the month, and I did. I uploaded six combined videos uh, on the last two days of the month. And I actually got done everything I wanted to get done. And to be honest, don't be surprised if I make that a theme going forward, if the last couple days of every month ends up being packed with stuff. That might be something I end up doing regularly. So yeah, if that starts becoming a regular thing the last day or last two days, and there ends up being multiple videos, don't be surprised. Might be a silly question, but how do you get channel points requests? A happy new year, you too. And this is something I explain probably every 30 comments or, or so, but I don't mind at all um, re-answering this question, just because there's probably new people to the channel who are uh, interested in what it is. So when I mention channel points requests, um, when I'm, well, I stream on Twitch every day, uh, UK time usually from like f around, around a seven or eight, p.m. uh well at 8 or 9 p.m. 7 7 if somewhere starting at 7 or 9 p.m. uh uh to midnight and uh UK time and uh basically when people watch me on Twitch they gain channel points over time once you accumulate 80,000 channel points you can use it on a guaranteed request so when i say at the beginning of the video this is a channel points request by whoever they use their points on a guaranteed request i currently have even though I've done a lot recently, I still have like a hundred pendings. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's every time I make a dent in it, it goes back up. That seems to be how it goes. But you can use it on a guaranteed request, either on this channel uh, or on my second channel as well. Alan Partridge would be a perfect host for the toy show. Happy New Year, you too. And man, that seems like a missed opportunity. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I guess it's not too late. He still does the character sometimes, huh? Fuck it, have him do the toy show. As an Irish person, I can tell you this is pretty much universally agreed as the Irish TV event of the year, the Late Late Toy Show that is. Almost every year it's the most watched program in Ireland. Uh, we have a drinking game like time, like drink every time he mentions uh, one for everyone in the audience. Uh, incidentally, where'd you come by this copy? I was only uh, wondering recently if there's any way to watch the old ones. I found it on YouTube. I found a couple old ones on YouTube. This one was in the best condition I could find, so I, I used this one. I actually have a really good copy of the 2019 toy show, which I was going to do originally, but the copyright is fresh enough on that that I wasn't be able to uh, get it on YouTube, but that older one I was able to. Ryan Matheson and Toy Show, I did actually end up becoming a football player, fair play to him. Yeah, that's awesome. I looked him up and he plays, um, uh, I believe, in the uh, Northern Irish uh, League, so good for him. The most awkward TV ever is sit through old episodes of Toy Show must watch. Uh, we all hate Pat Kenny in Ireland and still watch for how bad good cringy it is. Why do you hate Pat Kenny? <laughs> is he just annoying or is he an asshole or is he just on everything? My God. God, I thought Chewing Gum was a kid's show. One minute in, that ain't a new show for me. Looks promising. Yeah, not a kid's show, no. But I was pleasantly surprised with it because Shubes, who requested it, seemed uh, apprehensive in the sense that she wasn't sure how I was going to respond to it. And all she told me about it is that it was weird. But I, I enjoyed it a lot, to be honest. The guy who played the, um, the over-religious man was the best character, I thought. He was hilarious. But overall, yeah, seems like a strong show. I'm realizing that with Jam as my benchmark, nothing can ever be weird again. That's honestly fair enough, because that that raises the bar a lot, does Jam. I miss Charlie Brooker doing shows like you have been watching. Yeah, he's kind of just been chilling the last couple years, hasn't he? I mean, to be fair, he can afford to, I'm sure. I, I can't imagine how much money he's made off Black Mirror, so good for him, honestly. The Chuckle Brothers once went on a celebrity coach trip where Barry Chuckle was seen in a bath full of beer with two other people, including the host. That sounds great. Honestly, I, I don't, I'll have to look more into the, the coach trip because, God, that just looks like the cringiest show ever. I might I might do a regular episode and a celebrity episode. I'll need to see what platform I can put it on, though. Seeing clips of all these unintentionally funny shows of the late 90s, early 2010s reminds me of TV Burp. I think you'd like TV Burp. Speaking of the request list, TV Burp is actually on there, so we'll do that at some point. Patty did actually work at his local leisure center when he was young and did run an aerobics class, but he mainly spent his days walking about the pool in tight shorts and pretending he was Hoff and Baywatch, as did we all. <laughs> but he he was he was really good at it, honestly. Like like he legitimately uh like he he was a legitimate good host. Like he could actually make workout DVDs, I think. I got the Power 2 DVD and it's actually a good effective workout if done regularly and great fun. And that's their thing too. It it does honestly seem like a decent workout like i thought it was just going to be like a joke workout going into it and it was in some senses like when they used the dildos as dumbbells but as a whole yeah i might try it myself out of every reaction you've done ideal is the one i'd urge you most to do the full series series is absolutely batshit insane in the best way possible i 100 percent agree and i plan on doing more of it because my impressions from that pilot episode was this is good but i just know that this is gonna get so much better and this show has so much more to give, and I'm interested to see what it does give. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for another episode of Reading Your Comments. The comments in this video were pulled from the following videos. American Reacts to Gimme 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 7, Only Fools and Horses 19, The Late Late Toy Show, last week's episode of Reading Your Comments, of course, Reading Comments 203, uh, Chewing Gum, you have been watching two, Max and Patty and The Power of Two, and Ideal. I did not pull comments from the Gordon, Gino, and Fred American Road Trip re-uploads because they were re-uploads. Uh, but that is going to do it for episode 204 of Reading Your Comments. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, I stream every single day, my second channel for recent views, my Twitter. If you want to follow me on my Patreon, if you want to support me on my daily motion, all things are in the video description down below, as well as the Twitch file channel and the community Reddit. Uh, also in the video description, you can find names of all my Patreon stars. I know you can be Patreon me for as little well as $1, one pound, and you get access to direction videos, as well as reading your comments a few day early, and you get your name in the video description as well, as I just said. Also, if you want a chance to get your comment read in next week's episode of Reading Your comments the videos to comment on are as follows this video the reaction video that came out yesterday which was my dad's the prime minister the reaction video that comes out tomorrow which spoiler alert if you made it this far should be brass i5 and the reaction videos that come out tuesday wednesday thursday friday with all that being said though my name is taffer christine has been episode 204 of reading your comments and i'll see you guys next time bye